Welcome folks and welcome to another edition of Social Plus brought to you by Gigawin. You can go to www.gigawin.io and place your bet in crypto and win money in dollars. After yesterday, we saw what happened to Arsenal lost against Inter Milan and Arsenal fans across the world on social media have divided when it comes to thoughts, when it comes to opinions because Arteta, you know, just won just one point in three games in the Premier League and of course they lost their first game in the Champions League against Inter. The 100% record done and dusted. So they need to find a way to come back to form. But away from that, people are actually questioned the transfer business over Teta and Edu. Remember, Edu left the club over the course of the week to another challenge and people have been talking about the transfers, the objective, the, the target of us now you know, over the course of, you know, their transfer businesses. And we take a look, you know, based on what we saw on social media from different uh, big accounts of Arsenal fans across the world. And from last season, we saw that the only place, in quote, or the only places Arsenal needed reinforcements was to get a striker that can get them more than 20 goals in a season, just like Alain, just like Pep Guardiola did. They needed a winger that can deputize for maybe Martinelli and Saka. Remember, Saka was overworked back to back, you know, two seasons. Martinelli is not really good when it comes to cutting edges, poor in his final thought. So they, these two guys needed maybe a deputy or a competition. And people felt like, okay, fine, there, there will be a winger that will come in in the course of the season. Because if you look at last season, they had the best defense. And you can't say, okay, fine, they needed a defender or they needed. Um, more central back because Gabriel and Saliba have formed a good unit at the back two years together and they look like the best central defensive pair in the Premier League even the world if I have to put my chest out but you know recently Arsenal fans the other fans have been questioning what kind of business Ateta did in the transfer window let's take a look at it so Okay, I won't say they needed a creative midfielder because there's other guard, you know, and um, nobody knew that he was going to be out for some few weeks due to injury. So, but the key guy, the key areas they needed was to have a, a striker. Avats, you know, scored goals last season, but that's not the kind of striker you need to take you to the promised land. And look at the business he did, you know, a best defense from last season. Ateta went to buy, you know, the defender from Bologna, talking about Calafiori for forty-two million pounds. In the middle of the pack, there is Declan Rice, there is um, Pate, there is Jorginho, there is Odegaard. You know, even look at Trossard can even play in the in the middle. And he went to buy Merino, who is not really needed, and he bought bought Merino for thirty-one point six million pounds. So in total, see these two unneeded signing went for 73.6 million pounds and let me read something from you know from someone on twitter and take a look at how the businesses of Arteta has not been really good for some section of arsenal fan and this person said let me see if okay and this person said i love Arteta and arsenal fan his, his name is eboka meet great you can see you know the question down your on the just right here he said i love Arteta." But spending 132 million pounds on LCMs, talking about Avat, Fabio loaned back to Porto and Merino and still needing an LCM is bad for business. So if you are looking to, you know, buy maybe a left-footed, you know, central midfielder, and you spend 132 million on Avat, on Fabio, and of course on Merino. That is not good business. And that's why even Edu has to be questioned. He's, he has left you know, Arsenal, but he has to be questioned in terms of how do you buy, spend as much as this and you still needing a left-footed central midfielder to still do the business for you. Because Teclaras cannot do it, Jogio cannot do it, even Party cannot do it. So if I not talk about you don't need a Calafiori because you can do a makeshift. And the makeshift is we've seen Thomas Partey playing as a right-footed defender, as a right-back. So that means Calafiori is not really what Arsenal needed. Arsenal failed to create goals, you know, 
You don't have creative box, and that is what Ateta should be addressing or should have addressed, you know, from last season to the, 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 this season from the transfer window. But unfortunately, it didn't. So, so the question I begs, what is the way forward for Ateta? His closest ally at the club, talking about Edu, has left. The teams are doing, the team is doing badly. You know, injuries is now knocking on the door. I think this is the first time in a long time that Ateta will face as much in injuries like this in a season, even suspension, because they are decided to have, you know, collected more, more red card than any other team in the Premier League. So it's now boils down to what Ateta is going to do this season or in the summer when they bring another sporting director to work with Ateta or if Ateta is going to, you know, run off at the end of the season. Is that not be good for us now? Three games, one point, and of course they lost their first game in the Premier League, in the Champions League against Inter Milan. So it's looking all gloom for Ateta. So I'm asking you in the comment section, just put it, is it as Ateta in the last two, three years done a good market to address the need of Arsenal? Because we saw what happened to Saka. Saka came back from injury and has been used and been used and he will be overused and overwhelmed again. No winger to deputize, no winger to, for competition. It's only Saka and Martinelli for the whole season. And I think, you know, you can go to the comment section and share your thoughts as well. Remember, this social plus brought to you by GigaWin. And you can go to www.gigawin.io and play it on crypto. So go and make money in dollars. That's how you can take follows across our streaming platform. Very straightforward on uh, Puja Media on Twitter. And of course, um, on, tw on YouTube, go to Puja Dissect and get all our videos. Now, you guys know my name is Sulaiman Adibao. For fans, call me Puja. Like I say, the Adrix, the higher, the expected. Me, our ticket, be green. Bye for now.